All right, so I put my window down and recently, and then it wouldn't go back up, and not at all, not even close. And so I had to try to figure out what was going on, try to fix it. So you can see my other video on how to remove the door panel, which I've done. You gotta do that to see what the inner workings of the window are. And I'm gonna show you how to fix a window regulator. This is a Dodge 1969 Coronet. And there's a lot of similar Mopar cars in that uh, era. They'll probably have a similar setup here. Uh, this is a 69 Dodge. So when I opened this up, I looked in and I found this channel just laying here in the bottom of the door. And this little plastic plug and it was clearly is in two pieces it was clearly broken it used to be one piece like that who knows whether this is an original part or whether this was replaced at some point hard to tell but uh originally how this works is this channel is going to need to be in here like that and that plug secures it but before you do that you need to have the crank arm of the window regulator in the channel okay so i don't see the crank arm anywhere the way this works there's a regulator here which is the crank you're familiar with that when you're driving the car and when you twist that it twists the gear and there's an arm that comes down the rest of this channel and then that operates the window so i open this up i don't see the arm it's up here and if i crank my window down it's probably going to come Or down here but be careful that you don't interfere with the wire there's a wire here from where you open the door that goes back there so you want to make sure you don't mess with that crank it down and here it is okay that arm goes in this channel which goes if I can get it right here on this side of the window See the window rests. There we go. Coming at it from this side is a little easier. Okay, I've got the window resting in that one and in that one. I'm gonna line up the hole. Now, the hardest part is finding this part. I went to my local hardware store, and the best I could do was these which was a temporary fix, but did, is not going to hold. It's not the right part. But this plug, which is awesome, this is called the nylon rivet or a plastic rivet. This is specifically for this vehicle, 69 Dodge. There's a range of, of Mopar cars in that era that this will work for. And I got this on Detroit Muscle technologies.com which is a great little company that makes uh, gaskets for anything you need Mopar uh, gaskets they've got them and they've got these plugs if you order one I recommend ordering two which I did because I'll probably be fixing that window at some point also so now the tricky part is just getting around and plugging this in this is going to be towards the front and this is going to be in the back there's plenty of room back there as you can see there's not a lot of room here let's see what I can do here Adjust my window a little bit. Let's see if I can get more space. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. That hole's still lined up. And I get my hand in there better. And this should just plug right in with some force. This plug is great because it's tight, which means it's hard to get in there. If you can kind of press together a little bit with your fingers from the back seems like it's a little easier but that's certainly a relative term because it's not easy there that's working there we go look at that so when i put that piece in as you saw it was kind of tricky just to, to push through there but then the harder part is once you get it through you gotta engage this in the back right and so i'm not going to do it and ruin this one but this is an extra piece you push when i push that through it's going to come flush to here and it's going to pop that out you can see how it's come through and it's really holding that tight in place problem is trying to do that with your hand like this 
is virtually impossible. So I don't know, maybe you're stronger than I am, but I was trying to do those with my fingers and I couldn't get it done. So I took my screwdriver, put it on the back like this. I want to be careful not to hit the glass and just pulled towards me and it popped that thing through. So just put the flat part of the screwdriver on there, it pulled and it popped it through. One tip I also have is that this channel, you know, it's kind of funny that it's pretty loose and uh, it wobbled around a little bit uh, back and forth this way. And that looseness is what ultimately makes that plug want to move around. And so to get it a little bit more snug, I just cut a little piece of this, which is the, the felt that you can cut and put underneath furniture and stuff so it doesn't scratch the floor and stuck at it two, on both sides would have been too much, but behind the tooth over here, I put one piece just to snug it up and make it a little bit more flush and tight. And that seems to have made a difference. So that's done. Again, great replacement piece from uh, Detroit Muscle Technologies. Getting it in there requires a little bit of elbow grease, but once you got it done, put your door panel on and you're back in business. And uh, again, if you're gonna order one of these, you might as well order two so that you have one for the other door because after 50 years, it's bound to break. All right, thanks so much.